Hi guys, I'm Asaf, this is Itai, and today we're going to react to a song called Namahage by the Japanese band Ningen Isu. This is the second time we are re re reacting to one of the songs. The first time blew us away, so this is exciting. I I, I'm looking forward to another one by Ningen Isu. Yep, can't wait. Let's do it. Hmm, interesting. The faces that they made made me laugh because uh, glancing at the lyrics, this is a, this is a song that praises either combativeness or stoicism or toughness in all its forms. Uh, and, and that's what they're saying. They're saying like to be soft is bad. That's what occurred to me when I glanced at the lyrics and the faces that they made kind of correlated with that. So that made me laugh. Um, well, first of all, the, uh, the intro, when they just started, it was like it could have easily come out of, you know, something by Black Sabbath. Yeah. I'm like, this is freaking awesome. Yeah. Um the uh, Namahage is actually something I'm I'm sort of familiar with. I've heard about it before. Namahage is uh like um a, a sort of a demon. Um they they actually have uh, I think that's how I heard about it. They have like a Namahage festival in certain areas um in Japan. And um the Namahage is like this um Kind of like a boogeyman that was used to uh, kind of frighten children into, uh, you know, being being good kids. Um, so that's kind of where those lyrics come from, you know, talking about like, is there a crybaby here? Is there a this? Is there a that? It's 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 about that. Not so much about like combativeness or something like that. It's it's really about uh, uh, disciplining um, children. Oh yeah, by uh, using this yeah. kind of like Japanese folklore, um, and I mean it's similar. We have uh, uh, something like that in most uh, cultures. Just yeah. goes by different name, you know, the Baba Yaga, the this, the that, Abu the Sandman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's really what what it is, and that's what the song is about, which is kind of uh, cool. It just to me, it talks about you know like the 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 they come from wherever they come from. To, to tell us, you know, what sinners we are, what we're doing wrong and all the rest of it. It's almost like they're applying this now to adults. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. the, the Namahage do this like for children, but it's like, you know, yeah, we're, like where, where, where are we in all of this? Yeah, because adults are getting, uh, are behaving badly. They be, yeah. They're being crybabies. It's like, uh, yeah, it's social commentary on a, on a, on a generation of... Uh, yeah, uh, um, for, from what I've uh, uh, read in the comments and also a little bit online about Ninginisu, it's like a, a lot of their um, music and the way they write lyrics, it's it's poetry, it's old language, um, you know, that I was told that some Japanese people might not even understand them because it's, a, it's like an old uh, dialect. Um, 
I'm not sure about this specific song, but in general. Um, but there, there is also like a philosophical side to to what they do, which is what made me think about this when I read the lyrics. And then when I hear it, it's like, yeah, I think that's what they're trying to do. It's actually saying, you know, we need this, this namahage, we need this, this, um, you know, boogeyman to to actually make us behave. Um, and that's not just children. That's adults as well, you know, yeah. this generation and and beyond. Yeah. So. They're using a they're using a folklore of theirs to say this is what we think about adults nowadays and deal with it. And they're saying it in, people, in a way yeah. in, in an amusing way. We interpret it as as being critical and judgmental, but it's it's probably not. It's probably in a very comedic tone. Yeah, no, I I think it's 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 critical, not maybe exactly judgmental, because I think it applies. You know to them as well not just other people it's not like they're saying it to others it's 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 upon us all of us okay. um but it is kind of i think directed maybe at you know a generation um so yeah yeah i don't know it's really cool it puts like this whole new angle to this song and twist yeah. and just musically again they are fantastic and i'm loving um the bass player also singing you know yeah um, <laughs> still the faces that they made very cool and and another thing before we jump back, right back into it it's kind mm. of surprising to know because i i always revered japan as as the people of japan as being you know mostly well-rounded so it's it, it's mm -hmm. kind of hard for me to imagine a younger generation there being you know spoiled and because japanese don't act like that they're not spoiled they're hard workers and it's it's kind of yeah. it's, it's kind of a it's not strange but it's kind of it's, it's a slight surprise to me that uh, if this is what the song means then that that they are speaking about the people of their own country but i think we've seen this before in uh, in films where either japanese or or even some other asian cultures um are portrayed um there is a lot of that uh, showing that the current generation is a little bit more um you know spoiled um misbehaving that kind of thing so i think it's i think it exists it probably does it exists probably in every country but in, enough for it to be a phenomenon for a, for a, a band of seasoned musicians to have a say on it to write a song about it but we're talking about our, um the meaning and our interpretation and all the rest of it but um Yeah, I just want to say I'm loving this. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is a great song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just uh, they they are so good. Yeah. music video of theirs we reacted to heartless cat we forgot to mention in this music video that they're very good at shifting gears 
which is what they did right now. And it's awesome. It's always like they, yeah. you know, oh, you think this is the song? No, 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 no. This is the song. It's like, uh, and, yeah, yeah. And um, another thing that we were unaware of at the time, we we did um, say something about it, but we didn't know exactly. Um, their um, kind of uh, gimmick, I think, um, is their outfits, uh, the way they are dressed, and and we actually kind of hit it. Almost, almost bang on uh, with the lead singer. He's supposed to be like an old teacher, like a professor kind of thing. Yeah. That's the the outfit. Yeah. Um, the other one is uh, I can't remember. I think it's like a some kind of like a ghost. Could be. Um, you the know, with that makeup like, or yeah. something. No, the but, drummer is dressed like a like a yakuza member. Yeah, I didn't know that. I had no, uh, no yeah. reference. So that's 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 uh, uh, what's what's behind it, and and it's just so cool because. Um, they sound like they are very serious and intense, which they are, but they're also very tongue in cheek. There is humor in there. The, um, and I'm, I'm enjoying it so much. Um, I, I don't think I can even describe how much I am loving this band so far. This is yeah, only the second song I hear of this. <laughs> yeah. I, I was gonna, what I said before, I don't know if they're, mm. they're that, that critical. Because the funny arises from their mannerisms. It's it's an international language. You can see on their faces that yeah, they don't take this uh, too seriously. We're just having a laugh. Yeah. And the drummer, you said he looked. He's dressed like a yakuza member. When mm -hmm. I first saw him, I, I thought, yeah, he looks like a, a nightclub owner. Which I don't mm -hmm. know. If, I don't think that's that's a yakuza member can be a club a nightclub owner. Yeah, it's like it's on the same uh, vein. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah, and yeah. So there is there is an intensity and a sort of lightheartedness, and it's like meshed together. Yeah, meshed. It's meshed together. <laughs> songs in one song it's like wherever they come to perform one of them goes what are you doing this song that song or this song and another one of them goes yes he's one of the best guitarists i've ever seen i i just love the way he just just goes to town um i'm also loving seeing the the audience here um the live aspect even though this is like a you know uh, it's filmed live but it's sort of a more of a music video um because they have been around for a long, long time, but apparently not as successful as they should be. Um, they're saying that, uh, like I was, uh, people are saying in the comments uh, after we did Heart the Scat, that these guys all still hold their day jobs. So the band is like a side gig for them. Uh, I wouldn't say hobby, but a side gig. And the albums they've released have not been as successful as, you know, as they deserve to be. Um, people have kind of dubbed them, you know, the, the Japanese Black Sabbath, but I don't think they have Black Sabbath type success. Whereas I think their success should be, you know, universal. I don't know if I, if I mentioned it before in, in previous episodes, it regards a different musician, but Johann Sebastian Bach wasn't famous until 80 years after he died. So, you know, Maybe that I hope, happen. yeah. I, I hope we, you know, they don't have to wait until they die to to get, you know, some kind of a 
a success, you know, that that uh, that they deserve, because I think that they're hugely underrated if if um, you know if that is the case. Because uh, I mean, we don't know the numbers, but uh, maybe they're just keeping their day jobs because they want to. I don't know, but um, yeah, they are just absolutely fantastic. That's kind of surprising as well, because if anything, we've seen that that all the Japanese audience are are critical regarding to the. To the proficiency of their musicians they should have noticed them more that's, that, that's what it feels like i mean you can see here they're playing a this is i mean i don't know if it's typical but it's a small venue that they're playing it's not um you know a big stadium like some other bands we know of much younger um you know japanese uh bands um it's it's interesting it's it's very interesting but there's like what you know we were talking about all the different speeds there is one speed that they play in here um where they went into a part that reminded me of grunge um because it reminded me of soundgarden just the way that the the guitars were going it was some some kind of like a like a sort of like a bridge um but yeah wow just just awesome What a fantastic band. Whew. Their songs are anything but immersive. They don't let you drift away because they keep keep you on your toes because they keep changing the gears. And I think that particular type of music, I don't know if that's what they do in all their songs. We've only heard two and they did it in both. But I think it's an, it, it can be considered as an acquired taste. You either appreciate it and, and love being on your toes or you or you hate it because some people are just looking to play music and then go into you know into in the dreamland or la la land or whatever oh or there's you know music for every occasion i guess yeah um they don't let you rest but, yeah um the one thing i liked about um uh, this the seeing the audience is it was a mix of kind of young and, and slightly older um which is really cool which is kind of what i would expect from a band like this um i think that they would appeal to you know people our age you know 20 somethings <laughs> yeah um you know even even teenagers all the way up to you know people in their 60s who still you know listen to metal um yeah just fantastic i'm going to listen to it again after we finish this episode yeah, I just want to listen to like albums, but I know we're gonna we're gonna have to save them to do them on the show. So um, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, hold tight. Mm-hmm. But yeah, fantastic band. I I love the whole story behind this song about you know the Namahage and um and yeah the the whole twist that they put on it. Um, the way they perform it on stage looks like uh, uh they are the Namahage in a way. You know what we were saying before about them maybe um, 
being judgmental, not being judgmental in that regard, maybe they kind of are, uh, but I'm not sure because yeah, of ju- but, just the yeah, way they perform yeah. it, you know? Yeah. It's like, yeah, you know, it's uh, just here to, you know, to say this about our society. It's like, it's not, like, we won't know unless, you know, we ask them at some point. Well, from from you, like yours and mine, from our point of view, um, they are not wrong. Um, so, yeah, great song, great uh, everything. Great, great song, you know, great band. The lyrics, yeah. the lyrics are very um, um, interesting. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the fact that we can talk about uh, potential meanings, you know, it's always like an extra thing that that uh, that makes the experience even more great, you know, yep. when there's all these layers that you can yeah. potentially look into whether we're right or wrong doesn't really matter yeah. it's the experience and yeah, this band to, is awesome yeah. we need to keep an eye out for for lyrics spe- specifically i think with japanese bands because the proficiency and the experience already blows us away so we need to put mm-hmm. some focus on other things because it's kind of easy to forget that you don't speak the language and you have no idea what they're talking about because you're enjoying their the, the music so much and it's important for us as re- reactioneers to address the the lyrics and the meaning. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please be sure to like, subscribe, and click the little bell icon so you get notified on all our future videos. Hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you'd like to see us do next. Share our stuff. It'll help us grow our channel and encourage us to make more videos for you guys. If you'd like a request bumped up the line, please make it through Buy Me A Coffee. Uh, all contributions are, of course, much appreciated. Thank you for your time. Was she on the keyboards at one point? Like, did she climb onto the keyboards? Was that what she was I on? I think that was a table with a keyboard on it because I saw her yeah, yeah. moving and, and playing at the same time. This band is is nuts. I mean, in a, in a, gra- in a great way. It just makes you want to be there, you know, for, for, for like a live show like that. Again, we, we love everything that you guys do from commenting, viewing, um, you know, in, the, the engagement has been fantastic. Um, and yeah, tough to to catch up on, um, you know, to answer everyone. But we are doing our best and we are catching up as we go. And again, we appreciate you guys so much. And we will see you again in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.